All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I got uh, my buddies, I Charger 308 Duo here. Um, I built him this charge case not too long ago, and uh, he had an unfortunate incident. He was charging on channel two, pulled the banana plug out, and it fell down into the temperature sensor port. Uh, shorted out. And now he's having issues with it. So we're gonna see if we can correct the issue today. So I've got a pulse two cell receiver pack here. Gonna get on the charger. All right, just gonna do a one amp charge here. All right, as you can see in just under a minute, we got uh, error 1900 exceeded safe temperature range and now on the display hopefully you can see that if you can't it says 285 degrees Fahrenheit this pack is obviously not at 285 degrees and I don't even have a temperature probe plugged in the second channel has been the one giving him fits the left channel appears to be working fine in the testing that I've done so you can see the temperature's coming down slightly, 269, 268, 267, it's dropping. It will never get lower than about 230 degrees, I think. But I'm gonna take this eye charger temperature probe that came with my uh, 208B and plug in, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So you can see as soon as I plugged it in, the temperature reading went away. And we're back to charging normally. I'm gonna let this run just a minute, just to show that it's not gonna alarm out. We'll be right. All right, guys, we've been going about seven minutes here. Um, I'm confident that left in this configuration, this battery would continue to charge. Uh, the only downside is you have to leave this temperature sensor plugged in, which is not functional. Uh, there's no reading here on the screen. So seven minutes, 30 seconds in, I'm just gonna pull the temperature probe out. All right, so just for comparison, so we know how the temperature probe works, I'm gonna insert it on channel one, well, the left channel. And we immediately see a reading, ambient reading, 75 degrees here, Fahrenheit. If I hold this between my hands, there we go. We've aired out on the right side. And I'm um, just keeping this temperature probe between my fingers we're going up and approaching 90 degrees. And when we take the temperature probe out, functionality goes away. So clearly we have um, an issue uh, with the temperature port. Um, as soon as I hit stop here, we're gonna say 280 degrees. And when I plug the temperature sensor back in, it goes away. So between the circuit board and this temperature sensor, Something is happening. Uh, the ground trace is most likely burned from when this four millimeter bullet being unplugged fell back into the temperature port. So <clears throat> most people could just plug this in and be happy, but I wanted to see if I could actually 
fix the issue or at least eliminate the need to plug this temperature sensor in to make it functional. So what we're gonna do here, so I'm gonna disconnect this receiver battery. We're gonna take the charger out of the box and we are going to take it out of the case and investigate uh, to the best of our ability to see what the issue is. I already have a pretty good idea. We did try to send this charger into the manufacturer, but they would not repair it without proof of purchase. And although I have a proof of purchase, I can't find it anywhere in my email because we've had these chargers for many years. So let's get this thing out of the box and we'll see what we can do. All right, so here we've got the 308 out of the box. Um, everything looks pretty good. Visually, there doesn't seem to be any issue, but we know through testing that there is an issue. So I'm just gonna do some disassembly here. All right, and very carefully, we're gonna remove the lower casing, keeping the screws contained. And we've gotta be really careful with the front side here because there's a very delicate ribbon cable attaching the screen to the motherboard. So let's take out two more screws here, holding the motherboard in. There's our front I.O. panel. Very carefully opening this up, you can see that ribbon cable I was talking about. Just a nice firm tug on the cable, separate, separate the two. And here you have the inside of an iCharger 308 duo um, everything looks pretty good I don't see any burnt traces um, clearly this temperature port here is the culprit and everything looks really good from the top side we are not able to see much from the bottom side due to the heat sink, which I will not remove because we've got a lot of thermal pads under there. Okay, I've got my multimeter here. Got it set for continuity testing. Um, when there's a complete circuit between these two points, it should zero out. Um, a nicer Multimeter might beep, but I've just got this Harbor Freight Special. So, um, this is not a new error, 1900. This is pretty common online. It's not uncommon for um, what happened to this charger to happen to others. And we have a little bit of um, information about this online. So I know exactly where to look. And um, I know what we're going to do. So um, this resistor or surface mounted component, I think it's a resistor here, um, is the ground reference for our temperature probes um, and the temperature ports. So looking at the continuity from the right pin in the temperature port to this resistor. We're getting really good continuity. And a um, little bit of resistance on the other side. So we're good there. 
and we're going to check this side here and as you can see i don't have anything on either side just double check for sanity everything's good over here but going back to channel two nothing i don't have anything um, alternatively you could also check the right pin in both temperature ports to see if they they read and they do not and for a sanity check i've got another 308 duo here this one does not have any issues but i check our right pins on the temperature ports they are a common ground so we know what we've got to do now we have to ground temperature port two so in some of the literature you'll find online it's going to tell you to run basically a ground wire from the back of this from the back of this pin here to this side of this resistor that's going to require some sure enough soldering skills along with a pretty decent soldering gun which i don't have just see how tiny everything is there so what i'm going to do instead of soldering from here to here i'm just going to solder from the back of this connector to the back of this connector and that should give me a common ground and i'm not saying this will bring back all functionality of the temperature port on the right side but it will at least give the ability to run the charger without um, giving a false over temp warning and you won't have to leave this temperature probe plugged in there so uh, that's the next step i'm gonna fire up the soldering gun and i'm gonna solder a small piece of servo wire from this temperature port to this temperature port then we'll come back and test it out all right guys got it soldered up running from the right pin on the temperature port to the right pin over here. Did a test fit. So I'm um, gonna try to keep these, try to keep these wires straight across here. Keep them out of the way. And uh, we're gonna put everything back together and give it a test. All right, got it all back together. Can't even tell anything was wrong. Uh, this temperature sensor port is sticking out just a little bit, but I think it's okay. So let's plug this guy up. Put it back in its home because I'm confident that we're gonna be good to go. Right after this, give her some power. Boots up just fine. Bring our two cell battery back over here. Charge lead. Balance board. And let's give it a start. Okay, we'll let that run a few minutes. Do uh, see how it goes. 
And we'll I'll double check with our temperature sensors. Everything's good to go. All right, let's let this run a few minutes and we'll be right back. All right, guys, been running about <clears throat> four minutes here. I think we're good. We've got a successful charge and I think our eye charger is now repaired. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this temperature probe in here just to see if everything's gonna function as we think. 73 degrees, 74, 77. Keeping it between my fingers here, letting it warm up. 85, 86, 88. Yeah, it looks like everything's functioning as it should. So again, we could have just left the uh, temperature probe in channel two and it would have worked fine. It did for an entire Saturday out at the field, but um, just one more thing to keep up with. And it was such a simple repair. I'm happy, happy to do it. So yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're eye charger, um, 4010 or 308 or 406 is giving you an error 1900 uh, do some Google search online uh, look up some of the literature I'll try to link it in the video description and um, you too could do this mod and maybe save yourself a few hundred dollars and keep your charger running so uh, thanks for watching like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one